Hi guys, in this video, we will be talking about what are relational databases and some of their fundamentals which you should know before learning any relational database like SQL. So let us start. So what is a relational database management system? So uh, database management system you might be knowing like it is a software which helps us to easily create some data, retrieve that data, modify that data and delete that data. So that is a software for managing of data basically. And if you add the term relational to it, it is a special kind of database management system which stores the data in form of tables where each row will be a record and each of your columns would be representing an attribute. So let us see with an example. So consider this following table which is indicating all the departments in an institute, let us say. So here the columns are department ID, department name and HOD. So these columns represent the attributes of a department. So if you don't know HOD means head of the department. So it is again an attribute of department. So these columns represent attribute and the rows like the first row is 1 CAC AK Verma. So this is a record or you can say it is a department. Similarly second row represent another department and so on. So the rows are records and the columns are attributes. Now a question must come in your mind like all entries are compulsory inside the table or not like somewhere it may be the case like you don't want to fill up an entry inside the table like suppose there is a person uh, whose first name is Ram and he doesn't have a last name or maybe there is a person who has no address so how to represent this missing information inside the table so in SQL we use something called null where null represents some missing information as you can see in this table so null is it doesn't mean that the last name of this person is null it means that this is missing so we use null for missing information now let us see one more important concept in relational databases which is primary key so basically primary key is a set of attributes which is used to identify each of the rows uniquely so like you say like you have a table of students so you want to identify each un student uniquely now there are two properties of a primary key it can never be null and one more is like it should identify each record uniquely and always it is preferred to choose that attribute as or that set of attributes as primary key which doesn't change much with time like you maybe it is possible that some of uh, all the students have unique address let us say then also we will not make address as a primary key here uh, because you know that address of a person may change after some time. So these kind of attributes should not be generally used as primary key. Now can you guess what would be the primary key for this table? Yeah, you are right. It should be admission number. Why not first name or last name? Because it uh, although in this table there no two persons have the same name, but in future there might be new students who have the same name. It is a possibility that two students can have same name or maybe same date of birth or maybe same GPA or maybe same department. So we can't make these attributes as primary key. So we are left with the only option of admission number because admission number is generally unique for everyone. Now let's see another important concept which is foreign key. So foreign key is a set of attributes which is a primary key in another table the foreign term indicates that it is a primary key but not of this table maybe of some another table so why it is used it is used to like establish links between various tables when you want to maintain some kind of referential integrity what does referential integrity means let us see with the example above so let's say you have the table of students here and you want to maintain the department number of each student. Now suppose by mistake I filled somewhere here 7, department number is 7. But in the departments table you don't have any department with department ID 7. So that is an error. Like you want to avoid such mistakes in future. So for these, for avoiding these mistakes we generally use foreign key. So foreign key will let you ensure that no one enters any invalid value for department number because department number if you declare it as a foreign key in this table students which references the department table so it would never allow the user to enter a department number which is not present in the department table so you won't get such errors now it might be possible that you might have a question in mind if you want to track the departments of every student why not create a single table in spite of these two yeah, it's a common question. It's a common doubt of many people. 
so we will not go into much detail but we will see what are the advantages of creating such a design with multiple tables here so let us see if you had a single table for let us say for students and department if you had a single table so you have to make three columns here instead of this department number you can directly have the department name and hod name so what would be the problem in that case is you would be repeating the same entry multiple times because let us say these uh, these two people have the same department one and one so you would be repeating the value of hod in these two rows and you will be repeating the value of department name in the, these two rows and suppose there are many other attributes associated with departments you will be repeating these values again and again similarly for this four and four you will be repeating the name of hod in different columns and similarly in for the department name also you will be repeating so it causes redundant data so why we want to avoid redundant data is suppose you want to update some department hod in future suppose hod is updated in future so what would be the problem if there are 100 entries of the same hod so you would be like updating hundreds of entries for just updating a single hod of a department so that would be a time consuming as well as like suppose you forgot to update it one place it may cause some error later so you want to avoid such mistakes so generally we prefer to reduce data redundancy and therefore we create as many tables as to avoid data redundancy so i hope it is clear and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and also i have prepared a short quiz on these fundamentals so do try to give that quiz before going on to the next video of this playlist thank you for watching